What's up, y'all? It's Riz Flex, and welcome back to my channel. Today is Wednesday, March 23rd, 2022. We have breaking news from the sun. We're finding out that Alaska was just hit by a five magnitude earthquake. The tremors are confirmed to be located near Port Owlsworth, and it was also widely felt in Anchorage. Okay. Let's take a look at this. Um, so here we have, you know, the map here over here is Russia, Japan, we have Canada, the U.S. Okay, here we are. Here's Alaska, Port Ellsworth, Anchorage here. And these are locations that are extremely close to a particularly interesting location underground here that our intelligence agencies have been investigating for some time now, which we're going to investigate in depth in this video. So the earthquake had a depth of about 87 miles. It's pretty deep, right? The Alaska Earthquake Center says no injuries so far, okay? So nobody has been harmed yet. There's no tsunami threat. But yet it was a 5.0 magnitude earthquake that was felt very deep into the earth, according to our seismographs. What's going on underneath the ground in this particular location of the world? I am going to explain this after I give a brief thank you to Noble Gold for sponsoring this video. Investing in gold and silver is a great way to protect your investments and your retirement plans. And Noble Gold is an expert in this topic. They are just a phone call away. All you have to do is call 877-646-5347 or visit www.noblegoldinvestments.com. Uh, for the month of March, with any IRA over 20K, they'll give you a three ounce silver American virtue coin you see right here, or a five ounce America the Beautiful coin um, with anything over 50K. So you know what to do. Give the experts a call and they will help you with any questions that you may have regarding in planning for your retirement and your future in a secure way. Okay, that's Noble Gold Investments. You'll highly recommend it. So what's going on here underneath of where this earthquake just struck. I'm going to explain how it's also connected to what's going on politically in the world right now, okay? In this podcast from the Peer Pleasure, they interviewed Dom DeLonge, who is a Blink-182 band member. And about 36, 37 minutes in, he explains how his friends in the intelligence community have been telling him that there's a pyramid underneath of Alaska in this area. Yeah, yeah, but there's, there's no a law. funny tie. -in. There's no law in Alaska. There's nothing. It's fucking wild west, dude. Real it's all west. Fucking northwest. Gri grizzlies and shit. Yeah. <laughs> dude, do you know that there's a pyramid in Alaska? What? I can sell you some crazy shit. Tell me some crazy shit. I was I was born in Longview, Washington, moved to Alaska when I was six months old, and I was there until I was 18. I did not know that. There's a pyramid, and it's underground, and they've been studying it for decades. What? Yeah, Where? it's bigger than Giza. It's um, it's not that far from Valdez, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, I would have to check on where it's at, but okay. uh, apparently, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know... Okay, so let me just show you. Port Ellsworth is where we felt the five magnitude earthquake, and it was also felt in Anchorage. Here is where the underground pyramid is allegedly located. Okay. Very important person that uh, from the Pentagon that met with one of the lead defense contractors that were studying it, and they were told them, they said, we think we finally know what it's doing. It's all turned on. We think it's suppressing consciousness. That's what he said. What the hell? Fucking wild. I know, Dude, wild, right? Was this, did they discover this? Well, of course they did, probably after that giant earthquake that basically like Valdez had to like shift back like two miles. 
Like they had to rebuild you know the what city. I don't know. There was there was the the legend is that there was an earthquake of sorts and all the seismographs picked up the waves mm -hmm. that come, you know, all the way through everything. And they saw this whole anomaly, like as the as the those shock waves went through the land, there was some kind of structure or something that perturbed, you know, on the receiving end of these waves on uh and so they dug some tunnels, elevator shafts, made a little strip there to land, and they've been underground studying it forever. Um, the, that's how the legend is. Then the the news did a little piece on it, and then all of a sudden, all that shit disappeared. The people at the station said the guys came in and said, never air this again kind of thing. So, um, But on the deathbed of a couple people that were out there, um, they, they said that they were very aware of that. I think in the beginning, I fuck if I remember correctly, Again, it was like someone that worked for like Bell Labs or like, fuck, who was it? It was some time, maybe it was more what the, the precursor to AT and T or something like that. Like I can't remember all the all the. I don't want to get it all too fucked up. People kind of hang on my words when I talk about shit like this. Mm -hmm. But so the only thing I want to say is, um, yes, there is a pyramid, and we've been studying it, and I pretty much have said all I know about it. Um, but I got some other theories, but you know, but That's I don't incredible. have any more. Okay, so Tom DeLonge, I looked him up, and it looks like his dad was an oil company executive, and so if you know anything about, like, oil drilling, they do use these, like, seismograph machines in order to detect, like, uh, masses underneath of the ground, so whether it's his intelligence connections at the Pentagon, like he said, or if it's just literally his dad, Either way, it makes sense that he would be familiar with um, this type of um, military research in Alaska, uh, right where this earthquake just struck. So he said that it's suppressing consciousness. And so you would start to assume that an earthquake there targeting underground would be trying to break down this pyramid that's trying to suppress our consciousness. However, all of the research that I've done, the institutes that have studied it, show nothing but positive results like in every single way. So I'm confused if he might be putting out disinformation by saying it's trying to suppress consciousness. This is um, Dr. Alexander Golod. Here's where the politics gets involved with all of this. And the story begins in 1990 when Moscow scientist and defense engineer who we're looking at here, Dr. Alexander Golod, began building large pyramids within Russia and the Ukraine. 17 pyramids had been constructed by 2001 in eight different sites with Russia and the Ukraine. And by summer of 2010, more than 50 pyramids have been built worldwide, with the majority still in Russia and the Ukraine. So they're building pyramids all over the planet. Russia and Ukraine. And their research institutes are doing a lot of research on like the benefits of it. Uh, Dr. Golod built each of his pyramids to fit the golden section, the phi ratio of one to 1.618. That appears so often in the growth patterns of living organisms. Now we've talked a lot about the benefits of consuming and utilizing things within a pyramid, but this one was underneath of the ground. So what about the effects of the surrounding earth outside of the pyramid, on the outside of it? The academies have done research on this too. Dr. Golag also conducted studies of the air above the pyramid with a Russian instrument known as a military locator, which is similar to radar. And using this device, a column of unknown energy was detected around the pyramid, some 500 meters wide and 2,000 meters tall around it. Now, unfortunately, Golag doesn't explain what this energy was since the entire technology of that military locator thing that they use to detect this energy is still classified within the government. Um, but they later found out that there was an even larger circle of energy around the pyramid that was an astonishing 300 kilometers wide. 
And Galwag's team calculated that if electrical energy was used to create such a massive disturbance in the atmosphere, you would need every single power plant in Russia running at full blast to do it. And furthermore, an ozone hole that was directly over the pyramid closed up only two months after they built it. So these things are helping the planet wherever they're built. They reduce illness. They heal the ozone layer. I mean, magical. It's beautiful. And it's created using geometry of nature. Golod also built a series of pyramids over oil wells to do some experiments there. And it was discovered that oil underneath of these pyramids turned out to be much cleaner. That is science that's confirmed by the Gubkin Moscow Academy of Oil and Gas. Golod and his associates found that anything that was harmful to life would transform for the better. Now let's talk about some of the other smaller pyramids that Dr. Golod built in Russia and Ukraine. Dr. Yuri Badinov from the Scientific and Technological Institute of Transcription, Translation, and Replication coordinated these studies. In the Ramensko settlement of Moscow, a 12-meter pyramid was able to make wheat grow 400% better than it had before. So, I don't know. Does this explain why Ukraine is one of the largest producers of wheat on the entire planet? As we saw, Russia was taking over a lot of the entryways of some of their military bases, which led to some underground facilities. Are they building pyramids there? If they did, it would make sense. Helping the crops yield 400% more. The Russian National Academy of Sciences has discovered that pyramids actually give us clear protection against catastrophic earth changes. More proof that this is intentional, what we're seeing. And when you see the pyramids start to get attacked, I get a little concerned. I, th I think that that might be where my head is going with all of this, but what are your thoughts? Put it in the comments. Yeah, Tom Dulong was also in a couple of television shows, and he's claimed that he exposed the videos of the UFOs before the Pentagon released them. You know, this and that, and the other thing. Either way, you know, all of the research that he's doing on UFOs ain't revealing too much more than, you know, what the government's already given us. So, I don't know. I don't. I don't know the extent of trust that we should have in him. But, you know, the fact that he's saying it's like suppressing consciousness. I don't know, dude. Show me just one article <laughs> that indicates pyramids have the ability to do that. Saying it's suppressing consciousness appears to go against the research. I'm guessing his information is full of disinformation. That's what, like... I'm led, you know, through my research to understand is that um, I have seen literally no bad research on pyramids, like whatsoever. The whole planet is covered in pyramids. Yeah, they've, I mean, it seems like Russia and their scientists have been building them all over the planet because of their research that they're really beneficial for the planet. And I think without them, we would be in much more danger. The wheat thing is interesting, too. Right. Isn't Ukraine known as, like, the breadbasket of the world? The Russian National Academy of Sciences confirmed that the pyramid energy could reduce criminal behavior and increase feelings of love and peace. So tell me how it's... Suppressing our consciousness. It can spontaneously rewrite DNA to transform a given species into something entirely new and different. Think about the extinct plants that suddenly reappeared in the fields surrounding the pyramid near Seigler Lake. So there's a pyramid at Seigler Lake and 
formerly extinct plants started to grow around it. Where did their genetic material come from? It seems like the uh, DNA transforms coming directly from the very source and creator of life itself. Is it possible that the DNA code is somehow written into the basic energy of the galaxy itself? So that if we're actively being transformed into a whole new level of human evolution, I, th I think it's quite literally advancing our DNA. I'll show you as I'm looking through this. Um, so I come across this website, gizapyramid.com, and here's all research articles that this person has collected on the pyramids. Melka Manipal Medical College in Manipal, India. Dr. Barhati, in the Department of Physiology, under the guidance of Dr. Philip Murthy, professor in physiology in our institute at the time, was getting results in her experiments involving housing of mice in wooden pyramids and the effects on their learning and behavior. And their colleague, Dr. Sarita R. Kamatha, in the Department of Physiology, working with rats to study the effects of wound healing underneath of a pyramid. I'm trying to find something that indicates it could suppress consciousness. <laughs> You know, like our, our little Hollywood friend have said, but I have yet to find that information. Mm. New Ukrainian research. What's this one about? Research that has been conducted in the Institute of Physics in Kiev, Ukraine. So they have all these different professors with all these different institutes, y'all. So we can look these up to cross-verify that this is legitimate because this is not the actual sites of all these, right? I like to go to the original sources of all of them. But first, let's take a look at them, and then we can cross-verify. Um, antiviral activity of a drug was determined by its capacity to protect cells of the person from impact of the virus. Oh, yeah, more about Kiev. Let's, let's learn about Ukraine and Russia as it pertains to this research. Many laboratory studies have been performed on medicinal preparations like fungi, etc in Kiev. In Kiev, the properties of interaction of matter with the pyramid field patterns of different genesis were studied, and the investigation concluded also the interplay of the field patterns with the consciousness of the person. The basic results of operations have been discussed in the conference on problems of harmonization of mankind held in Kiev. Okay, well, hold up. Oh, okay, the pharmaceutical industry Hold it. In the 1980s, the pharmaceutical industry began expanding beyond domestic markets and they started globalization. Drugs were more complex and difficult. They started regulating it. Uh, let's see. Drug regulators decided to work in collaboration and this led to the birth of the International Conference on Harmonization. Okay, I got an FDA document, finally. International Conference on Harmonization. Okay, so results of this was discussed at the conference. The complexity of pyramid structure effect on the consciousness of people. Travis Barker is seeing Kourtney Kardashian and they are not connected to good people. Travis Barker is with Blink-182 and they're all connected. Very interesting, very interesting, very interesting. We have connected them to the Kardashians. The little potentially disinformation wizards out there. Interesting. We know what they know. And we know that what they're saying they know is probably false. But uh, again, I encourage all y'all to cross verify and do the research yourself. I will just help lead you in that direction. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for staying on the live with me. Thank you so much for joining in. It was nice having you here. 
I want to thank you all. Thank you for everyone that has been sending me mail and donating. I love you guys all so much. Don't forget to follow me on social media platforms such as Instagram, Gab, Truth Social, Telegram. I love you so much. I hope you stay safe. I hope you meditate and pray to God. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one.